What's going on, everybody? I just don't know what to do with my hand. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm just waking up. I wanted you to see me all natural in my just waking up beauty. I'm gonna start out the vlog today. I'm gonna make some coffee for celebrating dude's birthday today. Yay! We're probably gonna take the convertible out there. We'll see what today brings. All right, guys, well, I'll hit you up here in a minute. Well, guys, uh, I just picked up some brick pads for the Mustang. So we're gonna be doing that today, probably, because I need to get those brakes done. They are grinding, not real bad, but they're grinding, which is weird because I never got a wear indicator sound that I noticed. Of course, I'm always romping around, so who knows. Um, they only had the front brake pads in stock. So I'm gonna do those because those are probably the ones that are out anyway. You do like 80% of your braking with your front brakes. So it looks like we're gonna be driving the black Mustang today. This is the life. Also, I ordered a window regulator for the truck. Oh man, it's non-stop, never ending with this mini cars, guys. But I, it's more like a collection for me and I enjoy just like going out there and looking at my stuff, just hanging out. And uh, I like to fix things. I like to think things that aren't working and make them work. I like to figure out things. I most of the time have not ever done any of these things that I'm doing for you guys on camera. Um, you just got to get out there and do it. What I've found a lot of times happens with particularly adult males who haven't uh, ever really been in the cars too much or maybe they're just trying to get into it is they're really afraid to get out there and just do it. Uh, they spend a lot of times in forums and forums, although they can be good, they're so filled with just people who think they know and they're really pushing out bad info out there so it's hard to weed through it uh, that's another thing i'm going to try to do with this channel is kind of give you guys the real answer for things like not listen to and no offense to the old school hot rodders out there guys but i mean you guys grew up without the internet and there's lots of old wise tales about things like back pressure the car needs back pressure when <coughs> push it no, it doesn't. Anyway, so old hot rodders, they seem to be a little stubborn about their opinion and unwilling to change it. But I'm here to tell you that a lot of times you guys are wrong. And I'm not saying that I'm a genius. It's just I do a whole lot of research and have to weed through all of the troll comments and such to uh, figure out what's actually going on. And sometimes you just don't get your answer and you just have to go out there and do it. So I'm looking at the time here and I've been rambling for four minutes. So anyway, that rant's over. Uh, that's what's going on. I got those things ordered. We're gonna be doing the brake pads today. The uh, window regulator will probably come in like Tuesday and we'll do that. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Next time I turn this on, we'll be getting in the uh, Mustang and going out to my parents' house. All right, guys, well, I haven't driven this Mustang in months. All right, the keys are here. This used to be my daily driver back when I had the commute, and I got all kinds of crap in it. So we're going to see what we can do about fixing that. Our uh, brake pads are ready to pick up. We're gonna pick those up on the way over. I think I'm just going to use my dad's tools and make do. Normally I bring my stuff, but I mean, he's got everything. I just prefer my things. So for sure the trunk is full. Let's see what we got going on here. I mean, this isn't going to affect anything necessarily, but oh, it's not as bad as I remember. I would like to get this crap out of here. That's probably just going to stick. Let's see what it's looking like in here. It's not 
guys I remember. What's in this guy? Just trash. All right, it's actually pretty cleaned up. We're just gonna do it like this. So let me pull it around just because. Let's get a cold start on a brand new vehicle. are having fun one annoying thing about this car is this parking brake like if you just move it up just a little bit it causes it to be engaged and everything in my pockets hits it and so it's just constantly going doo -doo 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 -doo. it's been like that since i first got it it feels good to be driving this car it like just works and everything's great it's so weird i like to punish myself usually and drive crappy cars although i mean this one <laughs> obviously needs some work we're doing maintenance and uh tire pressure i guess that's maintenance also so let's get this guy started and i don't have a uh pressure sensor dude so going to uh, just use whatever the car says inside. Let's put it in there. That is not what I want. Where is my attachment? Well, I could not find my filler upper dude, so I guess we're going to have to go to a gas station to do it. So I'm going to go inside and uh, grab dude and we'll get the show on the road. So I will talk to you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, we're about to go. I thought I'd show you my sweet little uh, vest here. Always remember America. Mostly just for the lulls. It is as cold, but it's mostly just for the lulls. Super America, Freedom Fighter. Hell yeah, hell yeah, brother. All right, well, we are finally going. Push, we got our brake pads. Although I think that the uh, sound is coming from the rear brake, so we still have more to do. Just in case you guys were wondering, I thought you might be curious to know. I get 20.4 average miles per gallon in this thing, and I drive like a madman in it. I do not take it easy. I've got a lifetime warranty on this car. I beat this car up, guys. I am telling you, I thrash it. So I'm gonna make them regret doing that. Uh, lifetime warranty on this. I got this car from a Nissan dealership and so they applied their warranty for a Nissan onto this car. I bought it with 5,000 miles so it's basically 
basically new. And uh, I've put 30,000 hard miles on this thing. Basically like a quarter mile at a time. So just a little uh, tidbit for you guys. And to do the brake so this is gonna have to move but we'll worry about that later all right guys i'll hit you up in a minute all right well this is my first time jacking this car up so it will be interesting figuring it out uh oh man i don't even know if i'm gonna have a jack that can get under there but we'll figure it out all right well i'm probably only gonna film the one side so i don't have a whole lot of uh, memory card or battery so here we go Those pads are totally fine. Totally fine. I'm not replacing this. I'm just gonna put this back on. It's the rear ones that need to be done. <sighs> so I'm gonna return those brake pads because those are super good. All right, well, I mean, <laughs> that's part of what goes on here. Like those, those are super good still, guys. I'm not replacing those. This is the life of cars. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's good news. So we'll have to order some rear brake pads and we'll take care of those another day. All right, guys, well, I'm going to button this back up and I'll hit you up on the drive home probably. All right, guys, well, I got the tire back on and I went ahead and washed the car real quick. Uh, I guess I'll tell you about this car since I haven't really shown it too much on the channel. This is my 2016 Mustang GT. It's got a six speed transmission. I have a lifetime warranty on the drivetrain on this guy. And a full warranty up to 70,000 miles. If anything happens, it's a $50 deductible. Uh, because of that, I've only been able to do a couple of mods on this guy. And I can't put a tune on it. Uh, I have a cold air intake. Uh, this is a mod. This is a, an MMR coolant reservoir. The original one's like all 
I mean, you guys probably know, but you can look it up. It's all plastic, it's got bubbles on top and it looks terrible. Also got a Stila front support, strut tower support bar. And let's see what else. I've got Stila um, independent rear suspension. They're basically like uh, frame connectors, but it's an independent rear suspension connectors. And that's, I have a uh, cat back from the, yeah, from the, the cat back from the catalytic converters back. It deleted the resonator. I have an H pipe on here. And this is MBRP Street exhaust black edition. And that's really it. Uh, I can't do too much to it, like I said, because of the warranty. But I cleaned up the engine bay and kind of just wiped her down and hit her with some quick detail spray. Washed the car and did a brake inspection. I thought I was gonna replace the brakes, but that didn't end up happening. Detailed the engine compartment a little bit. And I really spent a lot of time polishing on the car. It came out really nice. I'll do a quick walk around for you guys while I'm talking. Yeah, so I think that's gonna do it today, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. Global War on Terrorism. America. All right, well, until next time. Hope you have a good time doing whatever you're doing out there, day, night. We have friends in Puerto Rico now. That's awesome. And all my Canadian brothers. And, of course, my fellow Americans. Take care. See you next time.